Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk you through my closet and how I organize it. I had quite a few requests for this and well, I wanted to wait until we redid and reconfigured our wardrobe, which we are planning to do at some point. I think realistically that's not going to happen until next year. We've got a few other home renovation projects that we want to complete before we actually get into the wardrobe. So uh, it's kind of going on the back burner a little bit. So I figured might as well talk you through it now that I've had a chance to actually live in the space and figure out what works best for me. I will say it's not too dissimilar to what I shared in my closet declutter when we first moved in the house and I sort of put everything into the wardrobe but I figured while I talk you through the entire space what I could also do is pick out some of my favorite pieces so items that I'm actually really looking forward to wearing for the season ahead. So you'll see when you look in the wardrobe there are four cubbies here which are on the left hand side and then I've also got four drawers as well. So the very top cubby is where I put my belts and it's also where I store my Chanel bag. I've got a few other little SLGs and things like that that I put in that space as well. The next two compartments are where I store all of my sweaters and one of the sweaters that I'm really loving right now, this is a new one for me from Everlane and it is just a striped sweater. I think it is really sweet, it's a nice cotton sweater, really lightweight um, and it's got a really relaxed feel to it as well which I like. One of the other things that I really love is my Joseph sweater and I've talked about this so much. I'm not going to be wearing these for too much longer now that winter has ended but this is my Joseph sweater. It's my favourite thing. I would be wearing it with this outfit <laughs> as well. Uh, then the next row down, that's where I've got all of my denim and you can kind of see this isn't really organised in any specific way. So mostly I've got all my blue denim on the left hand side here and then this is where I've got my white and my black denim. The top drawer is where I've got all of my knickers and socks and things so you don't really need to see in there. The next drawer down is where I keep all of my t-shirts. And I've got quite a few favourites, probably the ones that I'm really liking wearing at the moment are those with warmer coloured undertones. So I've got this really lovely little uh, Breton stripe top from Bowdoin. I'm not going to unfold it fully, but I do fold everything using the Kamari method. So I find that that's the easiest way to see everything in the space. And I don't colour coordinate it within the drawer just because at a glance I can see what I have. It makes it really easy to spot anything, but it is something I've been thinking about. I'm a little bit OCD about that kind of thing. And if I can't have everything really well organized, then I will. This is sort of a bit of a bugbear of mine because I would rather have pull out drawers so I can see everything and have it all nicely laid out. But as I mentioned, this isn't really a priority for us and it works as it is, it is functional. The next drawer down is where I keep some of my other sweaters, so more sweatshirts. Things that are a bit more relaxed and not as heavyweight as the knit sweaters that I've got a little bit higher up in the closet. One of my favourites has to be this little sweater from Tradlands. And I love the fact that they are ethically produced and ethically and sustainably produced. So it's just a really nice terry toweling sweatshirt. Oversized, I went for a medium, so it's got a really nice oversized fit on me. I will put a photo on the screen of me wearing it so you can see how it looks on. Then again, I'm not going to show you guys the final drawer because that's just where I keep all of my pajamas and my gym gear. It's not organized at all, it's just all sort of stuffed in there. And Charlotte quite often likes to pull the drawer open and then pull everything out. So I find when I do put in the effort to actually organize it, she undoes all of that work. So it's just something I haven't really put too much work into. Uh, then, when we move over to the main section of the wardrobe, so over there is where Luke's side of the closet is and I've got probably, I would say, just a bit over half. Um, in this section here, this is where I keep all of my tops and the way I like to organize it is by color. I do have my camisoles at the front which aren't really organized in any particular order and from there I have it on a spectrum. So I start with all of my white tops and I like to start with my smaller tops, so tanks and then I've got short sleeve shirts and then long sleeve shirts. Then I have uh, pink tops, red tops, kind of mauvey, dark blue, 
blues, greys, and then I go into white and black and then fully black tops. Then I've also got some skirts here. These are all quite earthy tone skirts. And then on the bottom, which I'm going to bring the camera down so you can get a better look, uh, I have my, I've got a few more skirts here, some that are a little bit longer and some that just don't really fit that comfortably up the top. Then I have some longer skirts, I've got my trousers, then I have my blazers and again I have colour coordinated them so they go from light to dark. Then I have some jackets and at the very end I've got some more miscellaneous items. So I've got a skirt that used to belong to my mum, I've got a dress and also a jumpsuit as well. So that's kind of how that is all organized. In terms of things that I'm really looking forward to wearing, I would say one of those would be the skirt that's on here. I actually got this in the sale and I feel like it was such a great sale find. There's this little denim skirt from ASOS and as you can see I haven't actually worn it yet so the tag is still on but this fits really nicely. It's a Palmet style skirt with the little cutout detail at the bottom. Um, another thing that you guys won't have seen at all is this top that I bought from Karen Walker ages ago. I got this in the sale and it's actually an off the shoulder top and it has this really lovely little frill detail and I feel like this will look really cute with some white high waisted shorts or something like that in the summertime. So I can't wait to start wearing this one. It's a really nice cheesecloth fabric as well. I always find Karen Walker does cheesecloth and linen really beautifully. I feel like one of my favorite additions to my wardrobe of late has been this pinstripe blazer from Halogen. I bought this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and coincidentally I have noticed that it's about 50% off. So I will be sure to link it in the description box below. It isn't wool, however, it does have the appearance of it and it's got a really nice thick felted texture to it. I also got the matching trousers which I think look really great however I don't really love the look of the two paired together as a suit. I really like wearing them more as separate. So this looks really cute with just some jeans. I guess I could wear it with what I've got on right now if I took off the cardigan. Uh, also just thrown over a little dress. So I just think it's a really cool style and I love the cut of it and in terms of the size I got a small and it fits me really well. Then on the far side of the wardrobe, this is where all the longer hanging pieces are. So I've got a few dressing gowns here at the very front. And then again, I've done the same thing where it's color coordinated. So it goes from light to dark. So I've got all of my white dresses at the front, some spotted ones, beige, red, navy, and then goes into black patterns and then black dresses. And then I've also got some longer skirts and some trousers hung up in here as well. I think probably one of the things that I am really looking forward to wearing over the summer has to be, hold on, this really cute off the shoulder ruffle dress from ASOS. I bought this months ago in the thick of winter. It was so cold when I picked this up. However, I knew that it would be really perfect for our hot and balmy summers here. Um, and I can't wait to wear it. I think it's gonna be a really fun one. I'm also really looking forward to wearing my Isabelle Morant Etoile dress again. Um, it's a little bit blown out on camera. Sorry, it was getting a little bit blown out on camera. I think the lighting must have changed outside. Um, I will insert some photos of how this looks. I did get this dry cleaned and really unfortunately they lost the belt that goes with it. So I'm going to have to get one made or maybe just wear a normal belt. But I love this dress and it's a really beautiful silk. So that one's going to be really nice to wear in the summertime as well. And then the final thing I wanted to mention from here are some of my black kind of culottes and skirts. So I've got a couple of polka dot skirts that I wore tons in the spring and summer. My favorite has to be this polka dotted one from Topshop, which you guys will have seen so many times in my videos. This one's no longer available, however, I did notice that they've got a striped version, so I'll drop that in the um, info box. This one here is from a brand called French, and unfortunately, I don't think you can get this anymore, but it's a really nice, almost maxi length skirt, and I have uh, featured this on my blog, so I'll put a little photo on screen so you can get a better look for how it pairs on, but it's just a really nice skirt. It's really floaty, and it's got pockets at the hips, and it's elasticated at the waist, so perfect if you're indulging at a summer barbecue. Now I've got you on my vlogging camera and I'm actually in the spare room. This is the smaller spare room where I do have my white clothing rack, which you guys ask a lot about. It's from Freedom Furniture and unfortunately it's a few years old now. Now this is where all of my coats sit. So you will see those over there on the right hand side and I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer. 
I'm actually going to be filming a lookbook. So this part is dedicated to all of the different outfits that I'm going to be filming. I've also got a couple of pieces hung over here on the side that I'm going to be featuring in the video as well. This is just what I use to kind of help me plan things out, makes things a lot easier. I've also got a few more clothing bits on the top here as well. So some jeans and some sweaters. As you can kind of see, this isn't really coordinated at all, but this is just another storage area for all of my shoes and just any other jackets or overflow because we don't really have a big enough wardrobe or more like I've got way too many clothes. So it's just a little bit of a close up at everything that sort of sits on here. I've also got Luke's leather jacket for his motorbike hung on the side there as well. This is also where I store my scarves. So I've got my two Acne Studios Canada scarves and then I've also got my Mia Frattino cashmere scarf on the bottom there. And then on the side, if you just ignore the little, um, I can't remember what this is called, but that's Luke's for his motorbike as well. I've got a few handbags hung here. This one here is from Made, And then I think behind that I've got my Celine Trotter bag as well, which I've done a review for if you want to go and watch that. So let me just step back so you can get a better overview of that space. I have also done a shoe collection video, which I'm going to pop up here for you guys. If you'd like to check that out, talking about all the new shoes that I've added to my wardrobe recently. So hopefully you guys will find that interesting. So that is the other area where I store all of my clothing. I realized the final thing to show you guys is actually my shoe and bag cabinet, which is in the study. Now, there are a lot of shoes missing because I have pulled from this for the video that I am filming tomorrow, but I figured a good little overview of what this looks like would be handy. And you can see I've actually moved the Monstera into the study now just because it was underneath a heater and I thought the light would be better here. So at the top, I have all of my sandals in a row here. This next row is generally where I tend to keep a lot of my heels. The next row down is where I keep all of my handbags and I've just got some really great little options here. My designer bags are at the end here. I've got my Philip Lim Pashley and my very old Perenza Schooler. The next row down is where I keep all of my flat shoes, so which include my favorite little editor flats from Everlane. The next one down is more heels and I actually have a higher pair of heels that I think usually tend to sit here. So these are usually the ones that I don't reach for as often but I love how they elevate an outfit. They're definitely not ones that I can see myself getting rid of anytime soon. The next row down is where I tend to keep my boots. So my Everlane Boss boots would usually sit there. I've also got this really great dupe for the Stoud Moreau bag here, which I will link in the description box. I just think that this is such a great alternative. It's affordable and it looks really very similar. Then down the bottom here, I've got a couple of felt baskets. These are the Besta felted baskets, I think they're called, from Ikea. So this one here holds all of my smaller accessories. So I've got my little carry-on case. This is from The Daily Edited. I highly recommend it. It's a really great dupe for the Anya Heinmarsh clear travel case and it's a really great size as well. Then I just have some smaller pouches. I've got this really bright red one. I've got a burgundy colored one, which is embossed from The Daily Edited. I've got a black one. And then in this little box here, I've got one from Mon Purse, which was given to me by my brother and sister. I think it's really nice. And then in this other one here, this is where I tend to keep all my camera equipment. So I've got a little tripod at the back here. I've got a lens for my Canon and just some other bits and bobs. This here is my linen backdrop that I use when I'm filming lookbooks. So there you guys have it. That was a full look at my closet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, particularly for those of you who are asking me to film this. If you have any other questions about our storage space or how I fold things or um, organize my wardrobe, let me know in the comment section below as I'd be happy to answer any of those questions for you guys. If you have any other video requests, do let me know because I try to accommodate as many of them as I can. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me and hit the like button if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.